Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Today I want to show you one of my favorite solar ignition techniques, how to make a water lens. Just going to use a piece of saran wrap, a piece of glad wrap, a piece of sandwich wrap, something that you might find in the back seat of the car. And we'll straighten it out. Very simple. I don't think people can see themselves doing this is why there's not a lot of interest in this particular technique. But if you'll just get out there and try it, you'll see it's not all that hard. So you're gonna gather up three sides of this under two fingers to make yourself a little pouch. That's two sides. And now you're left with a little pouch. And that pouch will open up better once you start putting water in there. You know, a lot of times I'll hold it with those two fingers and further support it with this finger as I'm putting that heavy water in there. And of course, you'll need some clear water from a mountain stream or lake or water spigot. And let's just work out the wrinkles and put more water in it. Now, we'll take and twist it up, trying to purge what little air is in there, trying to purge it out. And of course, we'll want to be careful at this stage to not break our solar lens. Now, and you can tell by your shadow if you're in the direct sunlight or not. Find it on your finger first. And if you don't have some shades on you, just keep looking away every 15 seconds or so. But do find it on your finger first to know where to place the fungus. All right, that's hot enough to ignite it. Can you see it? Let's try that right there and just be patient with it.
Let's go to fast forward until that ember develops more than that. Uh, may not need to now. It's a slow process to build an ember and a fungus, but they burn hot and they will not go out. Now, can you see my table real well? I want to show you why I have a ready supply of oak bracket fungus all the time. These water oaks are forever dropping this stuff, and I only have two or three pieces now, but every time it rains, every time we have a little bit of wind, some more drops. But you never get to see them when they're still light in color and still growing. Let me show you that one right there. So, apparently that oak bracket fungus loves to grow on these water oaks. And I just always have a good supply of it on hand. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all. And do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. These are this year's leaves. They're still half green, so there'll be a lot of smoke before we actually get the flames. That little breeze is doing it some good. You do not have to convince me to wear safety glasses when you see how this wedge has mushroomed over and big pieces of that metal has been knocked off and gone flying. You watch all these videos on YouTube where men just take like just an ax and they bust open tougher wood than this. I can't do it. I had to get my CS590 out, make some four inch grooves in them and still it's tough to get it to split. This is water oak. We'll catch you on the next one.